Hey, what's up you guys? It's Coda and welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> I am sorry if my mic, like my audio on this sounds weird. I just bought a new microphone because my other one broke. So I hope that it sounds right. I'm still messing with the settings. But with that said, let's get into this video. Um, this is a collab that I've been wanting to do for a really long time and it's with Princely here on YouTube. If you don't know who they are, you need to go check them out because they do speed paints like this, but they also do a lot of um, voiceovers for fan-made comics and they're just, it's, it's awesome to see them put life into people's creations. So if you like stuff like that, then you really need to go check them out. I have been following them for a long time and I've been wanting to do this collab and now that it is here, I'm so nervous and excited. Um, so yeah, if you guys are from their channel over there after watching their collab, then welcome to my channel and my video. I don't always do voiceovers because they're terrible, but <laughs> so if you don't like voiceovers, then don't worry because I do a lot of speed paints with just music. Um, I wanted to create for my little permafusion. Started off with making the cute little perma couple, uh, and I wanted to have them fuse into a malachite. So I wanted them to be a jasper and a lapis. And so I decided to do a bumblebee jasper just because bumblebees are little. I actually asked Artificel on tumblr for help with that and that was their suggestion and i loved it and then i was looking up to see what was related to a lapis so i didn't do just a straight up lapis and i found out that there is something called a lazarite and lazarite crystallizes in isometric forms so like they're like cubic very blocky squared crystals and it's really rare for lazarite to form into crystals like that but whenever they form in mass amounts and in bulk, they end up making the gemstone lapis lazuli. So I thought it was appropriate for a small lapis to be a lazarite. So here we are. And I do want to acknowledge that uh, Bumblebee did end up looking very similar to um, Artificelle's citrine. I've looked at that picture a million times, so it's probably just programmed into my head. But where I was coming from with the creation is I wanted... Uh, a jasper to be like the size of a ruby because I wanted malachite to be the size of like garnet I wanted them to be like reasonable to be a permafusion at all times and so I wanted her to be small like a ruby so I went with like a ruby and sapphire vibe for them too and um, I love skinny jasper so I gave her skinny jasper's hair and pulled the bangs down and I think after I started drawing it in my head I started picturing Artificel's citrine without even noticing that I did. So after I did it and I colored it, I'm like, this looks really familiar. And then it, it, it turned out that it looked very similar, almost identical to theirs. So I was just acknowledging that I am aware. <laughs> it was frustrating, but I, the, I love the way that they turned out so much. I decided to just leave it and I'll just deal with whatever people think. Um, and for the permafusion is malachite, of course. Um, I wanted to put the gems, I have this problem with things have to be symmetrical and I've done too many permafusions where the gems are like straight up and down the middle. So I decided to do them on each side and I did the shoulders, which is funny because that's where, uh, Artificelle's citrine and amethyst have their gems. I'm telling you, I, I'm uh, obsessed with her work and so it's like programmed into my head, I'm thinking. Um, so yeah, I wanted them to be symmetrical. Uh, with the fusion, I wanted it to have like a garnet vibe, so I kind of gave uh, Malachite Garnet's body shape and proportions and stuff and instead of gauntlets, I gave her big forearms. Um, the forearm thickness obviously came from bumblebee and all the other skinny parts and thick parts are mixtures of lazarite and bumblebee. Uh, I love this fusion and I love their little like permacouple vibe. I almost kind of don't want them to be a fusion all the time, just they fuse a lot. So they're not technically a permafusion, I guess you could say, but yes, I, I, I like, I'm probably going to draw 
Hutt, Lazarite, and Bumblebee, and a few like cute couple pictures just because I am obsessed with them. They turned out so good. I'm so proud of myself. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this, make sure you go check out the other half of this collab over on Prince Lee's channel. I'm telling you, you will love it. I've seen it and it's amazing. Uh, let them know that you came over from my channel. I'm pretty sure most of you already follow her. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you're new to this channel, give this video a like. Uh, comment down below what you think of my art. I'd love to hear what you guys think and what I could improve, improve on. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you can get notified when I upload because unfortunately it hasn't been on a regular basis, but I'm trying to do once a week. But, you know, life gets crazy. But I still love you guys and appreciate you sticking around and supporting me and wanting more. It makes me more motivated to know that you guys are craving more of my art. So I love you guys for that. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.